Alrighty, so number two, answer for you. It was pretty long. I'm going to try to make this one a lot shorter. Ready? So I feel like I'm reinventing myself. In other words, I'm letting go of what's been working. <laughs> one of my mentors told me years ago, success is your biggest enemy. Because you find what works, you find what gets you to a specific level of life, and then you stay there. It's sort of like building a castle and then building a, more rooms inside of it. <laughs> At some point, the castle becomes a dungeon and I want you to explore the whole kingdom. So out of all these emails, right? So here's the problem, guys. 299, that's where I stopped counting. Because I started answering them. And as I started answering them, people started writing back, right? I don't mind that. I enjoy it. I enjoy the conversation, right? <laughs> This is part of why we designed the courses the way we have. ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. Yeah, a crass commercial, a hint, right? ManifestingMasteryCourse.com, 97 bucks. <laughs> right? 90-day program, buck a day. You've heard this before, but I want you to explore it in a different direction. So I just sent out that email, what, three days ago? I've actually had a few people <laughs> sign up, right? I'm pretty touched by that. I'm going to tell you why. The one guy actually got it. And I know he got it because he sent me an email because he says, I got it. <laughs> I've been doing the same things, expecting different results. We've all heard that before. But I really want you to think about this whole castle in the kingdom thing because when I was a martial artist, I invented my, reinvented myself at least three times. When I was young, I decided I'd be a kicker. And I could kick like Bill Superfoot Wallace. Give him a Google. Right? I was beautiful. And then I got a little bit older. Right? And I decided, you know what? Counterpunching. That's my gig. And I became amazing at counterpunching. Right? Block, bam. That was my thing. Block, bam. Right? It was, I was good at it. Fast. We had some really great training methods using the old school Makawara posts. I had a guy teach me how to make one and actually use one the way they used to like a hundred years ago. And for centuries before that, apparently. And then one or two incarnations later, I decided to master timing and distance. Because all the old guys said it's all about timing and distance. And I, and I studied with a Shaolin master who taught me, the, you know, who guided me. Because he didn't teach me. He taught me. But the learning came from the doing. When I changed my experience, and he had to scold me a million times, do not get into a normal fighting position. Do this. Turn 90 degrees. Keep your feet close together. Take these tiny seeming little steps. Honest to God. <laughs> this is from one of the five grandfather systems of the Shaolin. This is stuff they taught over two years that had people defe defeating masters that had studied for 30. But I digress. Success just might be your greatest enemy. Failure might give you your... <laughs> Failure just might be what we call fuel. Back in the States, I did pretty good at business. But every now and, thing, th now and then, things would slow down and I'd get a J-O-B. And I'm happy I did because I got a lot of skills from my J-O-Bs. I got into one call closes. I was selling credit card and electronic gift card processing. I was one of the guys that brought the chips out in the States. You know, back in the old days, Visa MasterCard only had a swipey thing. I'm one of the guys that's responsible for the chips coming out. All right? We had a blast doing that. The chip reading machines, getting them out to the public. Meanwhile, uh, I ran the restorative nursing department without qualifications. They hired me and then they, figured, they found out if they made me do like 13 different things. Little seminars, trainings, yes, competency exams that I could actually run the department legally like a RN would. Essentially, I was like a, like a therapist on steroids. And, but anyway, I digress. Because I brought my weird shit to work and had a lot of fun, like helping people with contractures, a supposedly permanent condition, not have them. And when I brought this up to the therapy department, they said, obviously somebody measured the contractures wrong because you can't improve on that. Once they have them, they have them. They don't get better, they get worse. We can only do maintenance. I am not a fan of maintenance. See, maintenance is what happens is when you settle for what's made you successful before. Maintenance is what happens whenever you allow your fears to just frustrate you instead of putting you on fire. 
And here's where I've failed you guys. There are some people that have been on the mailing list for years. And they haven't invested in anything. Because obviously, I haven't done a good enough job of explaining it's a buck a day. And it's not even that. It's that, you know what? When you decide, whenever you stop doubting it'll work for you, you'll decide to do it. And that by me might be manifestingmasterycourse.com, it might be dreamdrivenday.com, it just might be doing your sessions every day. Whenever you stop doubting it's going to work for you, you're going to start doing it. I, this is the big key today. Whenever you stop doubting it's going to work for you, you're going to start doing it. And what it comes down to is whenever you stop doubting you, stop doubting you. Here's what I doubt. I doubt the experts. Because when I was a young boy, about 10 to 12, somewhere around there, they told me I had scoliosis. They showed me what was going to happen to me. I don't have scoliosis anymore. <laughs> I had a flat left foot. If you saw me stand, if I stood on the sand and stepped out, you'd see my left foot was totally flat. <laughs> my right foot had an arch. Now I've got arches in both feet. They tell me that's impossible. I said, look at my feet. Let's keep going. PTSD, I had it back in the 80s. They told me it can be maintained. I am not a maintainer. Success. Oh, yeah, I've got six hours of sleep this week. Not a fan. And they say, hey, you could have more. Take amitriptyline. I took one. <laughs> I remember that. I took one, and I was in a room full of people like the next day. And I just thought, you know what? It'd be nice if they were all dead. And I thought, whoa, where the hell did that come from? I'm not playing this game at all. And I walked away. And here's the thing. They told me PTSD was going to run, run and ruin the rest of my life. I decided I was going to live. Oh, I feel a Dream Driven Day commercial coming on. So let's do it. Dreads, distractions, or dreams. I'd love to say two out of three people pick the first two out of the three. I'd say it's significantly higher than that. You see, I want you to stop doubting you. I want you to start doubting the news. I want you to start doubting the experts. I want you to start doubting the people that are telling you that health is a precious, fragile thing. I want you to start doubting the, hey, well, what if there is no way to fix it? I want you to start doubting that you need a fix. I'm telling you, you need a dream. You notice I'm staying away from a couple words. Like, you've got to believe in you. Mm. <laughs> I've got deep hidden beliefs from my childhood programming. I have to suppressantly impress my suppressed subconscious mind. Stop all that. I just want you to own your day. <laughs> you get the massive difference there. I want you to master manifesting. I'm going to continue to put these out. I'm, I'm going to answer the emails the best I can, right? 300 emails, five minutes an email, you guys writing back. Like I said, I love that. But I've got 24 hours of writing in front of me, and I can't take 24 hours in a row and do that. It's going to take a while, and I appreciate your patience. I'm a little nuts about this stuff. I decided when I came to Australia I would never get a job. And I decided when I came to Australia that I'd take the gloves off. Because I tried to teach a lot of things before, and this was always a part of it. This was always in the background. And I decided, what if I just bring it to the foreground? Because I didn't want to be judged as some LOA guy. The NLP people, the who I love dearly, think the LOA is weird. Right? It's, it's taking away from responsibility. Well, it's all about responsibility if you really dive into what Neville taught. If you buy into waiting for rocks to move in the sky. If you wait into, like, I'm going to wait until. Stop waiting. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to doubt the news. Because people are telling me now, well, you know what? Inflation is going to go up to about 10%. Interest rates are going up, 10% inflation, that's going to cause. 
yeah, 10% more. If you spend 100, it's like spending 110. If you spend a 10, it's like spending 11. You see, when I look at stuff, I go, all right, so a cup of coffee costs a dollar. That means it's going to cost a dollar 10. My electric bill is, you know, 800 bucks. That means it's going to be 880. Time to make some more money. Time to make some more difference. Time to invite people to doubt what doesn't matter. The news doesn't matter. Who's president doesn't matter. I've been doing this through, let me see how many different presidents. We've got Sleepy Joe. We had Trump. We had Obama. Who was before him? Every one of them's been the end of the world for somebody. God, I re every election I meet people, it's the end of the world. Good. <laughs> now you won't have anything to struggle with anymore because if it's all over, it's all over. And I want the old you to be all over. So here's the challenge. 30 days of nothing but what I teach. You'll notice I don't talk about 3D reality. <laughs> I talk about walking the dog. You walk the dog. Your Imagine Act leads. Why would you even go to war with 3D reality? Just walk the dog. The dog listens to you. If you have a panic attack every time the dog takes a pizzle, that doesn't mean things are going backwards. That means the dog's taking a pizzle. I can imagine up a yummy lunch, but I'm probably going to have coffee first. Having coffee first doesn't mean we're not going to have lunch. Two parts with this. I mentioned this, I believe, in uh, the uh, answer for you. Number one, there's the attitude. And the second are the actions. You need the attitude of Abdullah. For those of you who want to do Dream Driven Day, we dive into that deep there. That's where the whole course begins. The attitude of Abdullah. That's dreamdrivenday.com. Yeah, crass commercial. Why not? Number two. <laughs> uh, you got to take the right actions. And the right actions aren't affirmations, aren't sticky tape, aren't waiting for the moon. So here's a sneaky middle. Uh, for seven years, I've been impressing my subconscious to get rid of my childhood programming. Oh my freaking God. I just read that stuff and I go, why? Own your day. Joseph Goddard, 6 to 12, 5 to 10. A typical event, or not a typical, a specific event of today already having gone my way. I imagined up yummy lunch yesterday. Did you see those pork chops? Oh my God. Eating pork on a Friday. Who would dare? All right. Ah, I really like this one. I really like the others too. I'm inviting you to dive deeper. I'm inviting you to stop doing everything. And here's the challenge one more time. Just do what we do for 30 days. Don't do what you think we do. Do what we do. If you're doing the just the free email, just do what we do in each email every day. Don't do anything else. If you're manifestingmasterycourse.com, do the next 30 debt lessons and only do those. If you're in Dream Driven Day, only do that. If you're doing all three, do all three. That's doing three things a day. It'll eat up all your time, won't it? It'll probably get you away from doubting yourself. Start doubting what matters. <laughs> Start doubting what seems to matter. Like the news, like the financial crisis. Oh, another one. <laughs> anyway. Let the dreamer lead. Have a dream-driven day. Have a great day. Feel free to write back. Feel free to dive deeper. But take up the challenge. 30 days of only what we do. I can promise you what we do works. How do I know? It's moved me around the world, gotten rid of PTSD, scoliosis, uh, half a dozen other conditions, yada, yada, yada. All right. Catch the attitude, too. See ya. Yeah. Action and attitude. Action steps and attitude. Hoo-ha.